Hello, this is Synchro, and uh, today I will be showing you how to use the Mine Reset plugin for Minecraft Multiplayer. So, the first thing you'll need to do is obviously make a mine. So, what I like to use is the uh, wooden axe wand from World Edit, but you can use the built in commands for um, the mine as well for Mine Time uh, Reset. So, what you do is you get uh, your first posi position and your second position. And um, then you type in dash mine save, and then the name of the mine. So test, for example. Oops, mine save one. Okay. So now I just created the mine. Uh, it doesn't look mu like much of a mine though, does it? With nothing in it. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll type in dash mine plus to add resources to it and then the item ID of the blocks. So for example, coal ore would be block 16. Um, and then the percent of how much is well, will be in the mine. So mine plus 16 and then 3%, for example. Now, nothing happened. So that means you need to type in dash mine reset in order for the change to take effect. So there, uh, coal ore has just appeared out of nowhere. So now what else you can do is you can you can do that with any resource you want. So dash mine plus 56 for diamond ore. And then since I like diamond ore, I'll do like 20%. And then after that, you need to type in mine reset again. And there we are. It'll add diamond to the thing. Now, what else you can do is you can get, um, you can set this mine to reset automatically without you having to type in dash mine reset. So, every time you reset it, it randomly um, places um, that percentage of blocks in that area, in that area that I made. <coughs> Excuse me. And, um, yeah. So the first thing you do is you do dash mine timer toggle, like so. And then it'll say automatic mine reset is on. You can also turn it off by doing the same thing. Then what you do is you do slash mine timer and then set and then how long you want to do. So say um, 30, which is... Um, 30 seconds, I suppose. <laughs> okay. So, uh, dash, and then obviously you have to type in mine reset after that. So now we'll just wait 30 seconds and see what happens. Of course, it might be wrong. I might have done 30 minutes, but. Okay. Right, you know what? I'll just do this mine um, timer set. Alright, there we are. Now it should reset every 10 seconds. Okay, so it just uh, reset. <coughs> Wait for it again. There we are. So this mine here will reset every 10 seconds. Um, so yeah. And like I said before, you can toggle whether it's on and off um, by doing mine um, timer toggle, like so. Now it won't reset anymore. Um, for the mine reset thing, mine reset toggle, um, it will um, the mine timer. So, um, for this, it seems to do it every 10 seconds, or it, it seems to um, calculate it in seconds, so that means if I was to type in dash mine timer set uh, 5, no, yeah, 5,000, oops, 5,000, it would reset every 1 hour, uh, 20, 23 minutes and 20 seconds because that's how long 5,000 5, seconds is in um, real life. So, yeah. 
Um, if you want to delete the mine, I recommend you first um, get rid of all the things in it because they will stay there um, after the, um, after you've removed the mine. So mine, delete, or mine minus 56, which is diamond ore, dash mine reset, and then removes all the diamond uh, in there, dash mine minus 16, which is the ID for coal ore, and done, and mine reset, like so. Now, uh, what you need to do is you need to type in dash mine remove and then oops, dash mine remove one. Oh, whoops, dash mine delete. Okay, so that just deleted this mine here. So this now is no longer mine. So if I type in dash mine plus 16, 10, there is no mine, so it won't fill it. Um, dash, okay. So in order to select a mine that you've already got, um, like this one here for example, so you do dash mine, select, <coughs> sorry, mine select, um, and then the name of the mine. So this one is called worker mine and then it will select the mine. So now I can edit it again. Well thank you for watching and I uh, hope you liked this video. Um, please rate, comment and subscribe. This is Synchro13579 signing out.